Okay, so today in class you looked up some definitions and we're just going to go back through those definitions to make sure that those get solidified in your mind and you know what they mean. So the first definition is, what is a ratio? On your notes you want to write that a ratio is a comparison of two numbers or quantities by division. And then some representations of ratios are 1 with the colon 2 and then 3 out of 4 5 over 6 looks like a fraction, or 7 to 8. And this is what we mean by that division bar. That fraction bar is a division bar. Now on your notes this time, we didn't put a lot of information, so you need to watch closely and get this information on your notes if you want to get 100 on your notes. Um, with our ratios, the next question I have is, do you need to simplify ratios, and why? Well, let's look over here. and. This is going to be introducing a topic that we're going to carry on for the next couple of units, but yes, you always need to simplify ratios, just like you simplify fractions. When you simplify ratios, you can see whether or not they're equivalent. So we're looking for ratios that are equivalent because that leads us into equivalent ratios are proportional, and you'll learn about more of that in the future. So for example, one-half is equivalent to two-fourths, which is equivalent to four-eighths, which is equivalent to eight-sixteenths. And you'll see more of that as we get into making tables and graphs and showing our proportional parts of graphs. The next part on your notes are some examples of ratios in simplest form. So the first item we have is there's 9 CD players to 12 iPods. Putting that in simplest form, you should have 3, DC player, 3 CD players to 4 iPods. Or you have 5 movies to 20 DVDs. In simplest form, that's one movie to four DVDs. That takes us to some practice problems. So on your notes, you want to write these practice problems right here. There are two practice problems. Number one says six boys to every eight girls, and then you want to answer that, and then 16 trucks out of 20 cars, and you want to answer that and simplify that. You can pause the video right now and answer these questions and then turn the video back on and see if you got it correct. So the practice answers are for six boys to every eight girls, if you simplify that, that's three boys to four girls. The next question, 16 trucks out of 20 cars, that simplifies to four trucks to every five cars. Okay, so another word that you defined in class today was what is a rate? A rate is a ratio that compares quantities of different units such as miles per hour, price per gallon, ounces or pounds, or students per class. A couple of examples of rate would be like each hamburger is $2.39, so one hamburger is $2.39, or one Coke is a dollar, especially at McDonald's if you get the big Coke, they're a dollar. Um, but that talks about unit rates and rates, and now Ms. Hennebury is going to talk to you about more about rates. Hi guys, now we're going to talk about unit rates. Ms. Starrett was talking about rates, and a rate is when you're comparing two different quantities, like she said, beats per minute. Okay, the difference between a regular rate and a unit rate is that a unit rate is a rate with a denominator of one. Okay, so an example of a rate would be $12 for two shirts. Okay, now to make it a unit rate, what you have to do is you want to know how, many, how much it costs for one shirt. So you want to set your denominator equal to one. So if I have one shirt over here, right, I know that I divided two by two to get to one. So 12 divided by two is going to be six. So now this makes it a unit rate because it's six dollars for one shirt. So think about the word unit means one, okay? So now let's do some questions, figuring out what is a unit rate and what is not a unit rate. Okay, this first question says, which of these is not a unit rate? Okay, A says three incidents each day. The word each means one, so it's talking about per one day. So this one is a unit rate, so it's not that one. B says 65 miles per hour. If you're talking about per hour, that's one hour. So this one is a unit rate. C says 10 centimeters every five hours. So this is a rate, not a unit rate. This right here would have to be 
for one hour in order to be a unit rate. So this one is not a unit rate. And this one says D, uh, 0 0.12 molecules per liter. So this per liter means one liter, so this one is a unit rate also. So the only one here that is not a unit rate is 10 centimeters every five hours. And if you want to, figure out what this would be as a unit rate, okay? The next set is asking which ones are a unit rate, which one is a unit rate. So this first one, 17 heartbeats in 15 seconds. In order to be a unit rate, it would have to be in one second. So this one is not a unit rate. B says 60 calories per serving. So per serving means one serving. So this one is a unit rate. 300 miles in five hours. Five hours is not one hour, so this one is not a unit rate either. And D says two hamburgers for $2, right? In order for that to be a unit rate, it would have to say how many hamburgers for $1. So this one is not a unit rate. So the only one that is a unit rate is B, 60 calories per serving. Remember, the per and one is going to be your key. Okay, okay now we're going to talk about the constant of proportionality. So first thing I want you to think about is that when you're in ELR, you always talk about context clues or words. What does the word constant mean? If you are constantly talking in class, if you constantly do your homework, what does that mean? That means you always it stays the same. So this is basically saying that proportionality is going to stay the same. So the definition is the constant of proportionality is also called the constant rate. Okay? And those are a lot of big words, so let's talk about what the constant rate is. Constant rate is used to write an, ex an equation expressing the relationship between two proportional quantities. Basically, when we talk about this, and we're going to talk more about this in class, so don't freak out if you're confused, is it's always going to look like this. Y equals K times X. Okay, we're going to talk about what Y and X are equivalent to. The K here stands for constant. I know K and C kind of don't really go together, but just go with me. When you see it, it's going to look something like this. Right, so that means that whatever X is, you're always going to multiply it by 2. So 2 is your constant. It can also look like this. All right, whatever X is, you're always going to divide it by 2. So it's constantly staying the same. You're just changing what you're doing to it. Okay, so make sure that you have your definitions down, and we will talk about this more in class and, and kind of figure out what this means. On the next part, you're talking about a table, and it says to complete this table to determine the constant rate. Basically, what you're trying to find out is what is happening to um, the gas that's going to give you that outcome. Okay, so try over the table and see what you come up with. Okay, so here's your table. Basically, what it's saying is that if you buy one gallon of gas, it costs $3.50. And it wants to know the unit price, right? If we have one gallon, this is already its unit price. So it's $3.50 per one gallon. So this should be $3.50. Okay, here, now you're buying two gallons of gas. So if one gallon of gas costs $3.50, two gallons of gas are going to cost $3.50 times two, which is going to be $7. And the unit price on that is also going to be $3.50 because if two gallons cost $7, then one gallon is going to be $3.50. Okay? So now you're talking about three gallons of gas. Same thing. You're going to take one gallon of gas times three equals $10.50 for three gallons of gas. So your unit rate again is still three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, same thing with number four, three dollars and fifty cents for one gallon. So for four, it would be fourteen dollars and the unit price is still three dollars and fifty cents. So if you're talking about that proportionality, the constant of proportionality, what is consistently being multiplied here? Everything's being multiplied by 350. So your equation would look like this. Y equals 3.5, right? That's the same thing as $3.50 times X. Okay? So this would be your equation. This is your constant. This is what you're multiplying it by. And again, we'll talk more about this in class and show you the relationship between X and Y. 
Okay, so now you need to go ahead and fill out your summary. The first one says, what is a ratio and how do you use ratios in the real world? So just think about where you see them in real life. Make sure you answer complete sentences. And the last one says, what is a unit rate and how do you use unit rates in the real world? Same thing, think about it. You see these all the time, okay? Make sure you write it in complete sentences. Um, come to class tomorrow with any questions. And you guys have a good night.